In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to download and uh, install custom Esri styles into your ArtJazz Pro projects. All right, so let's first go over um, <clears throat> some information about styles. Now, anytime you create a, a project in ArtJazz Pro, uh, it's going to automatically load certain styles into your project. So there's a default set of styles, uh, specifically this ArtJazz 2D, ArtJazz Colors, Color Brewer Schemes. Those are going to get loaded into your project. Um, now you can add additional system styles by going to styles and again we're in the catalog pane here if you go to styles go to add add system style you'll notice that you have a set of, uh, of styles that get added to your project now I've added some additional styles initially when you create a project it looks more like this I've already added some system styles uh, but the way you add a system style is to go to add system style and then you add these additional styles these are all styles that come with ArcGIS Pro and styles affect different things. They affect uh, the different symbols that you can apply to your feature layers, your points, lines, and polygons. They also affect things like uh, the availability of different types of north arrows and scale bars, uh, some of the things that you might want to add to a layout. Um, so styles are, are very important uh, in terms of uh, creating aesthetically uh, pleasing maps. All right, so now in addition to the system styles, you can also add your own custom styles. So these may be styles that you create or that somebody else creates and that you download. And uh, Esri provides a styles page where they have uploaded a number of additional styles that you can download and use in your project. So here's the, the link here. It's uh, esri-styles-map.rgis.com. And basically it's, it's a, a resource page that um, is, um, provides you with this, uh, different sets of styles that you can download and use. So we have things like the Firefly uh, style, which is very, uh, very popular watercolor style, um, lots of different styles here, and you can go and view a, a full gallery of styles that are available. These are styles that Esri has created and, and, and uploaded for you to be able to put to use in your project. So what we'll do here is we'll go to the watercolor style, and you'll notice that it's downloading, and I've already downloaded it before, so it's getting a watercolor one here, dot style X. The important thing here is this, uh, the name of the file, which is style X, dot S-T-Y-L-X. That's the the, the file extension that uh, these custom styles will have. Uh, now if I go to my downloads, uh, we should see these styles, right? Here's this watercolor file that I just downloaded, watercolor1.stylex. That stylex part's the, the important part, as I said before. All right, so now after you've downloaded the style, then you're gonna need to import it into your ArcGIS Pro project. And the way you do it is to go to the catalog pane, go to styles, right click, Select Add, and then Add Style instead of Add System Style. System Style, these are ones the styles that come directly with the installation of ArcGIS Pro. But in this case, we've downloaded it from the internet, so we'll click Add Style. And then from there, it's just a matter of, of finding uh, that style that we just downloaded, right? and it's called uh, Watercolor. You, see, you can see some additional styles that I've downloaded in the past here, the Firefly, the Watercolor. And so what we'll do here is just um, upload the Watercolor style that we just downloaded, hit OK. And you'll notice that uh, this watercolor style is now a part of your project. Now you have to do this with every project. So it, you, know, you have to do it once with every project that you want to add that style to. Now from here, the styles that uh, I have added into my project will then become available to me in the style gallery. So if I go to parcels, left click on parcels, bring up my style gallery, now you'll notice that I have a new entry for watercolor. Right? And so these are additional styles that I could add to uh, that I could use to, to symbolize my layers. In this case, I'm selecting a, a blue type color here. Uh, and so these are just different styles that are associated with that watercolor uh, file that I just downloaded and, um, and have imported into my project. Thank you very much for joining.